Hello and welcome back to another video and here at Kibble Watches we thought we would just go through the safe and pick out 10 watches we have in stock right now that are under a thousand pounds that we think are great options as Christmas gifts or gifts for yourself or whatever the occasion may be or just a good watch you want to pick up for under a grand. I think these are some really good options. We're going to take a closer look at each one today, talk a little bit about them. We're not going to go into huge detail because in the description, there will be a timestamp and a link to every single watch we're talking about today. So you can go over to the website, see all the wonderful photos we have, all the details and the price. But rest assured, every watch we're going to talk about today is under a thousand pounds, is either pre-owned or brand new. Again, we'll talk about that and comes with box and papers, watch only, whatever it may be we'll discuss the details like that. And whilst you've got the link to the website and the timestamps, you will also see with some of them, because I don't believe every single watch has it, it might do, there'll also be a link to a video, which we did a drop video where we show the watches in closer detail and actually talk a lot more detail than we're going to in this video. But definitely make sure you're following over on Instagram at kibblewatches.co.uk and we hope you are excited for a really great Christmas and new year. We certainly have some plans here at Kibble Watches. And as always, we have to talk about the deadline for delivery. Um, I will put all the dates on screen. Please make sure if you are wanting it before Christmas and wanting it as a Christmas gift, which is kind of the point of this video, make sure you get those orders in before the date stated there. Don't leave it to the last minute, as I know a lot of you guys and girls do out there. Please make sure you get it with enough time, just in case there are any delays or anything, especially with international emphasize emphasis massively on that please get it way before then now for those of you that aren't subscribed and wondering who on earth we are my name's james i run kibble watches here in clark and well london uh, and we have been going for quite some time now selling pre-owned watches we also have a selection of new watches and we just love what we do at the end of the day we don't want to be just another watch company selling hype models hype this hype that we want to provide you something that is unique different and interesting for the price. And that is exactly what we're gonna to showcase today here on the table, from vintage to modern, to something you've all heard of, to maybe something you've never seen before. And I think that's the fun of what we do here at Kibble Watches. Before we start talking about what you're actually here to see, let's quickly talk about what's on wrist. This is gonna be what I call an honorable mention. This is a Incipio 1016, 1016 homage by Rolex. Um, again, under that thousand pounds and it offers all of the charm and look that you want out of a 1016 without having to spend over 15,000 pounds. Because even if you have that kind of money, some of you out there, and myself probably included, doesn't want to drop 15 grand on a watch. So, you know, this is the next best thing. So that's an honorable mention today on my wrist, but let's get on to what we're here to talk about. And I think we've got to start with probably one of my favorites on the table, and that is this Oris Aquis uh, date in 43.5 mil with the blue dial. Now, I know straight off the bat, some of you are gonna hear that word 43.5 mil and go, what on earth? That is far too big. There's no way I can wear that. Head over to the website, see the photos and on wrist. And I tell you, this wears incredibly well for its size. It fits on the wrist like a glove. And it's all thanks to that short lug to lug distance with the integrated bracelet that floats straight off the lugs. And it just grips around the wrist beautifully. So you haven't got to worry about that at all. You've also got the fact you've got the date complication there. Oris Calibre 733, which is basically a Salita SW200 inside with their iconic red rotor. This is the perfect gift for a man or woman who is into their watches and one thing a little bit different. This isn't the kind of watch that Joe blogs out on the street will know what you're wearing. This is the kind of watch if you get seen wearing this by someone who knows watches, they're gonna be pretty interest, interested and probably wanna start a conversation. So it's definitely one of those kind of watches. This isn't your run of the mill watch, which is kind of the beauty of it. And the fact it can be had under a thousand pounds with box and papers in very good condition, I think just adds to the to sort of the charm of this. So go check this one out on the website. Sticking with Oris, let's show you another one. And it couldn't be further from that Oris Aquis as a dive watch. This is the Oris Big Crown, as you can see, pointer date. And the reason being, it points to the date around the outside of the dial. It's as the name suggests, and Oris have definitely stuck to that. This is a gorgeous watch, very true to the originals from the 60s and 70s, maybe even a little bit earlier. This watch comes on its bracelet, full box and papers, again, under that thousand pounds. Oris offer incredible value. I talk about it all the time. You have the gold on the inside of the dial with the cathedral hands. 
it's a really good looking watch and a very practical watch for everyday use, whether you are an office worker, you're in college, you're whatever you're doing. This is the kind of watch that you could really wear in any scenario. The bracelet helps tone it down in my opinion. I think it makes it very suitable for t-shirt and jeans. And if you throw this on a black leather strap, you have yourself a very good looking dressy watch. Still with all the functionality that's useful, such as you know the dates, knowing what date it is. Um, and overall, I just think a hell of a lot of value. Again, a Solita inside, so you have that iconic red rotor. And again, a brand that not everyone will know. And I think that's the beauty of Oris. You know, they're a brand that have been around for a very, very long time and do things very, 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 very well. And also they're one of the few remaining independent brands in Switzerland. They're not owned by a conglomerate like Swatter or VMH. Um, they are run by themselves, which means they do the things the way they want to do them. They also do a lot of charity work with, in, uh, with the environment. So they do a lot of things like that, which is really great to see. So as far as a brand goes, I really don't think you can go wrong with Oris under a thousand pounds. Whether it be any of these two or any other Oris you see, I think they're great, so definitely don't hesitate. Next up, a watch that they started producing in the 50s and it looked incredible then and it looks incredible now and people still really aspire to own a vintage Seamaster and you can't blame them. Most people I know have owned or want to own a Seamaster at some point, these vintage models. And we have a really interesting one in today. And I think this is the beauty of watches. You've got all the modern options, which are fantastic. But when you get into vintage, you're getting into something with a, a story, a story that we either know or don't know. In most cases with vintage watches, unless we bought them off the original owners, we don't know the story. Um, so there's that kind of romance behind something that is on your wrist, that is mechanical that has lasted as long as it's lasted. You sort of wonder what has it gone through? What has it seen? If it could tell stories, what would those stories be? And this is one of those watches because it's engraved on the back in 1958 uh, to an AJ Coupon or Coppen. And I just wonder like, what was this? Was this a presentation for a presentation watch for working for a company for 20 years? Was this a gift one time for a birthday? You know, there's all these kind of questions which I think are really interesting that we will probably never know the answers to. That's the beauty of vintage. And also the charm of patina. And this is what I nicknamed the tango. A couple of people called it the coffee dial. There's so many nicknames. This has developed this really rich, chocolatey, orangey coffee dial, whatever you want to call it. And it's matched perfectly on this ostrich strap. So this is definitely not a watch for someone who has no idea about watches, has never owned a watch in their life. They're probably not going to appreciate all the nuances of this watch. I could be wrong. This could be what starts that thing. So don't hesitate if that's what you want to gift it to, someone like that. But for the most part, this is going to be for the guy or girl out there who likes their watches and maybe has a few vintage watches or has wanted to get into vintage. This is the perfect gateway watch, in my opinion. It will get them hooked because Seamasters are classic and always will be. And they wear bigger than their dimensions as well. So again, like the Oris, whether it's this Seamaster or another Seamaster you find online, don't hesitate ever getting one of these as a gift or for yourself. Um, and under a thousand pounds, they're still amazing value, especially as they're getting closer and closer to being almost all of them over a thousand pounds, especially when you start to get to interesting dials or interesting references. And this is still one of the super early ones from 1956. So go check this one out on the website. Now let's talk about Seiko. Seiko is a brand you're gonna hear in every top 10, every this, that, and the other under certain price points. And there's a reason for it. Seiko produce fantastic watches for the money. It's, you can't argue it. Yes, they have some quality control issues, misaligned bezels, these kind of things. Bracelets that are a bit rattly and not very built very well. But for their price, I guarantee you will not find better. And if you do, there will be certain corners that have been cut, especially when we're talking mechanically. Seikos are a workhorse. And this Sumo is a fantastic option. We have plenty of Seikos on the website under a thousand pounds, so check those out as well. But I picked this one because it's brand new. It's under 500 pounds. It comes with all of its box and papers, and it is one good looking watch. If you're a guy or girl out there who likes a bigger watch, a dive watch, something that's very much its own style, this is perfect because you're getting all that and more with Seiko. You've also got drilled lug holes, which is something that not a lot of people talk about enough. This makes changing straps super, super easy for anyone out there. Whether you have all the tools or not, you're probably gonna have a pin or something you can get in that hole to get the strap out and put on a rubber strap, a leather strap, whatever you want. And this is where the guy or girl who's starting to get into watches can start playing around with strap options, start playing around with what they want their watch to look like, make it their own. And that's when the addiction really starts because at that point, 
you're now, you're, you're gonna be hooked. You're gonna have more straps than you have watches and that is the end of it all really. <laughs> so this is the perfect one to do that with. And I think, you know, don't hesitate with Seiko. Again, as I said, and I'm gonna say throughout this video, whether it's the one from us or one you see online, um, H. Samuel, Goldsmiths, all, all these companies always have fantastic deals on Seiko. Don't hesitate, check them out, enjoy them. And at the end of it, they'll still be worth a reasonable amount compared to what you paid, especially if you got them on sale or pre-owned or on the grey market. Let's switch it up and head over to Germany. So we've talked about dive watches, we've talked about tool watches, we've talked about vintage. Let's talk about something that is pure aesthetic uh, design in my opinion, Nomos. Bauhaus design. So if you have, if you're looking for a gift for someone who's maybe big into their design, maybe an art student, maybe a photographer, maybe someone who appreciates the finer details and the nuances, Nomos, in my opinion, is one of those brands that is perfect for that person. The reason being, the Bauhaus design is one of the most iconic designs of its time. You know, pure simplicity, but done in a beautiful way. And Nomos have absolutely nailed that and packaged it into a watch perfectly. Uh, so have other brands like Junghans, which you can also find under a thousand pounds. I'll check those out as well. We have this really cool Tangente Sport, uh, reference 501. It comes in at a really great size, beautiful slate gray dial. You can see it looks great on a variety of straps, this black suede again. Getting people into the watches through the changes of straps. You only need one watch and three or four straps and you've got yourself a variety of watches in a sense. And watch like Nomos with this simplistic Bauhaus design just lends itself to be swapped out into different straps. So that's the beauty of it. Manually wound as well. So again, you haven't got to worry about, you know, changing batteries every so often. That's the beauty of this. And I just think a hell of a lot of watch for the money. And again, under a thousand pounds for Nomos, they are starting to climb. Their newer models are getting more and more expensive and they're starting to get more and more expensive on the pre-owned market. So these older references, where it was still a bit more basic, if you will, compared to what they are today with their fancy in-house movements, these are still great value, so I wouldn't hesitate with Nomos. Let's talk about chronographs. So we have a modern Tissot Heritage 1948. Arguably, when it came out, and still of the opinion of a lot of people, this was the best value for money modern chronograph from a major brand. And I still believe that to be true today. The watch is now discontinued at retail. You can still sort of find it here and there. It's over a thousand pounds at retail, but pre-owned, you can save yourself a chunk of money and you get yourself all the bells and whistles of the same watch, right? This comes with its box and papers, 2021. It comes on a shell cordovan strap um, that we've paired on it. The original strap is also included. But I think chronograph wise, if you're someone who likes a bit more complication to their watch, I think chronographs beyond obviously a date is the most accessible complication beyond just your normal time and date. And I think that there's a beauty to that, right? This is when you start getting into a bit more serious watchmaking, especially when it's got an exhibition case back. Granted, this one is slight exhibition case back. Um, you can really sort of start to see all of the movement, uh, the mechanics and how it works. You can press the buttons and see how it moves things. And chronographs, I think are just brilliant. So you can time things with them if you need to do that. No one really does that anymore. Uh, we all use our phones, but you get in that aesthetic of a more complicated watch without having to go into the realm of an annual calendar or a perpetual calendar or something far more complicated. So that's where the beauty of chronographs come in. And this modern example is perfect. You can run around, do everything you need to do in this and you haven't got to worry one single bit. So this is perfect for the guy or girl out there who wants exactly that. A run around watch that looks great in a suit, t-shirt and jeans, whatever it may be. This is a great option. And Tissot as a whole, so check those out. And speaking of chronographs, we've looked at an automatic. Now let's look at a manually wound vintage chronograph with the Accurist. This is a 1960s chronograph and Accurist is a incredible British brand. Um, they use Swiss movements and were Swiss made, but oftentimes either assembled here in the UK or their head office was here in the UK. For example, their head office at this period where they were making this watch was based right around the corner from where we are today in Clerkenwell, which is really interesting. Accurus today is a brand that unfortunately isn't what it used to be. They make very affordable quartz watches which aren't particularly that great, that's my opinion. Uh, whereas Vintage, they were on par with a lot of brands. They were doing incredible things and this watch is the perfect example of that. Beautiful black crosshair dial, highlights of red. It, it sort of brings together the world of design and mechanical watchmaking all in one. And I think that's what Accurus was so big on back then. And it shows through this watch. So 
Again, very similar to the previous chronograph, if you're someone who wants something a little bit more complicated, a little bit more to their watch, a slightly busier dial, this is the one for you. Now, there is something to be careful with a vintage watch. You don't wanna be wearing this every single day, out in the rain and doing all kinds of different things. This is something you wanna be a bit more careful with. So if you have an office job where maybe you just sat at a computer most of the day, this is perfect. You know, you're not gonna be doing anything too strenuous. Whereas if you're a builder, please don't put this watch on, honestly, it will kill me. So yes, you've gotta think of these things when you're buying a watch. And vintage, you definitely wanna be a bit more careful with, but still a fantastic option nonetheless for yourself or as a gift. Now on to the last chronograph on the table. We've looked at automatic, we've looked at mechanical, now let's have a look at quartz. But not just any quartz, this is what we call a mecha quartz. So it features the, the flow and the snap when you initiate the chronograph of a mechanical chronograph, but all packaged in a quartz movement. So you've got instant reliability. You've got very easy intervals of just having to change the battery. There's no service intervals, or not as many. Um, and you've got the affordability aspect as well. You know, these mechanical chronographs are a lot more expensive than a quartz chronograph will be. Um, and that's just the way it goes. You know, these are much more affordable to make. Also, reliability in the terms of if you're not a massive watch person and you don't want to have to wind your watch before you put it on, you want to pick it up, put it on your wrist and leave and be as simple as that, this is what you need. You need a quartz watch, basically. Uh, and this one is super funky. 70s design, you've got that unusual case. This is for someone out there who's maybe a little bit more different in the way they dress or just appreciates different design. They don't want just your typical round basic watch. This is perfect. You've got a brown dial. You don't hear of brown dials often in general. You've got this unusual case shape. You've got this bracelet and it also comes with a strap. It's perfect. And for the price it is, you'll be hard pressed to find anything quite like it that is this unusual whilst also being very, very good, reliable and well built and not from just a basic uh, fashion brand house. Nothing against those, I just think there's better value out there, typically for less money as well. This will be more affordable than those fashion brand houses you'll see. So a perfect option. And sticking to that slightly unusual branding, uh, let's have a look at this Yema. And what I mean by that is Amiga, Accurists, you know, Tissot, these are all brands a lot of people have heard of. Granted, not everyone will have, but a lot of people have. Whereas a brand like Yema, a French brand, most people would never have heard of that. And you can get yourself a really well-built automatic diver, in-house movement, all of these bells and whistles that in the watch community we like to go on about for not a lot of money. And I think that's really, really interesting, especially when you're now looking for a gift for someone who is a watch person. Let's say you're not a watch person, but that person you're buying for is. A brand like this will make them go, okay, they've, they've put some thought into this because you wouldn't just find a Yemma walking into Goldsmiths. You wouldn't just find a Yemma by going on Google. And I think that's where a brand like Yemma comes in very, very well for watch people out there. So I'd highly recommend this for the person who wants a watch, but you have absolutely no idea what to get them. Um, you have no idea what they like. This is something a bit more left field and also something quite interesting. They'll get this and they'll probably do some research. They'll do the history of Yema and they'll be really intrigued. Whereas, you know, a Seiko or an Amiga, as great as they are, and I would I would love an Amiga for Christmas, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> this is just a really good option. Nonetheless, so check this one out. And again, Yema in general. Um, they have vintage watches, so check those out, modern watches and everything. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna talk about my favorite watch on the table. And it's not the most expensive, um, and it's definitely not arguably the nicest in design, but it's the most interesting to me. That is this 1971 Nevada Antarctic Glacier. And the reason we're talking about this is because this one comes with its box and papers from 1971. It comes with some service paperwork as well. As far as a package goes, this is really, really interesting. And for the watch person out there, they will have a lot of fun opening this up and just when they take the watch out of the box and they see this paperwork underneath that as well. If they're a proper watch person like me, they're gonna get excited about that, just as I have with this watch every time I take it out of the box. Um, and also again, Nevada, a brand not a lot of people heard of. It's a conversation starter. It's something to spark interest. So if that person is a watch guy or girl, they're gonna probably know the brand Nevada, know the quality that they are, for, for the prices that they are especially. And again, just a really, really good looking watch and vintage. So, you know, you've got all of the things being ticked with this watch, in my opinion. And again, 
just with vintage, you gotta be that little bit more careful. So if the person's a builder, maybe don't let them go to work with this watch on, please. Otherwise you'll be on the phone crying to me when they smash it. Um, just look after vintage. But I think on the table, 10 watches, really interesting from vintage to modern, to brand new, to, to pre-owned. And you get a real sense that there are great options out there. As I said at the start of this video, whether you are looking at our website or any other website, I think some of the points we've mentioned today and some of the brands we've looked at, you should consider regardless. Let's say you've looked on our website and the Seikos we have aren't for you. That's okay, there's so many options out there and so many great options. So I hope you will have fun looking for your gifts this Christmas, whether you're sending this video over to your loved one to say, hint, hint, uh, watch number seven, please, or you're just trying to get some inspiration. I hope it's a great Christmas nonetheless and keep well and we'll see you all in the new year.